Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Maravilla, and I am the outreach specialist for the College Assistance Migrant Program uh, at Central Washington University. And uh, today you're going to hear from myself and other colleagues that also work with the CAMP program across Washington State that are going to talk about this program and see how it will benefit you as you consider uh, any of these other institutions in higher education. CAMP. CAMP is a support program designed to help students from migrant and seasonal farm working backgrounds tra transition to complete their first year of college and have a successful education experience. Uh, so the values that we're going to touch on later are uh, community, academic excellence, mentorship and family, preparation for and leadership. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Esquivel Silva and I'm the camp recruiter and academic advisor at the University of Washington Seattle campus. Um, and we are excited for this recruitment year to get to know you all virtually. So we are spread out um, all over Washington. Um, that's one of the biggest differences in the CAMP program that you'll see. Um, there's a lot of similarities um, in, within the CAMP program. So similar services that you would be receiving. Um, but one of the biggest differences is uh, where we're located in Washington State. And here you can see kind of how we're spread out throughout Washington State. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Inquiano Torres. I am the Outreach and Retention Specialist at Columbia Basin College. I am located in Pasco. Um, I'm excited for to get to meet you guys for this next upcoming year as well. If you guys have any questions about the program, you're more than welcome to call me, email me. Um, yes, so the CAMP program is a way for you to get from high school to college in a more smoother way and we're able to support you and the most possible ways to get you the tools that you need to be successful your first year. Hello, I'm Alfredo Ortiz, a recruiter for the CAMP uh, program here at Wenatchee Valley College. Uh, we're located kind of in the central of uh, Washington, uh, an hour away from uh, Allensburg, Central Washington University. And yes, I'm excited just like everyone else to offer that support through a CAMP program. If this is where you want to start your journey, uh, we'll help you here uh, in your first year. and. Uh, also follow up services in the second year and make sure that you transfer success successfully to a four year university. And I'm Michael Heim. I'm the director of the College Assistance Migrant Program at Washington State University in Pullman. And we're excited to touch on all of these points that we've been talking about to help students understand how to make a good decision and join camp. Go ahead that we shared originally, um, the first one I'm going to touch on is community. Uh, it's very important that students develop a sense of community or belonging at whatever institution they attend. Um, and the CAMP program is a great resource, a great support to establish that uh, sense of community and belonging at any institution. With the CAMP program, we also focus on your academic ex excellence. We wanna make sure that you're passing all your classes, that you're taking the right classes, and we provide you those tools, like an advising and just making sure that you are on the right path um, to get your bachelor's. With the CAMP programs, we also really focus on mentorship and family um, and a family experience. And what do we mean by that? We really mean that we try to connect you with as many people on campus that are gonna help you um, in your academic journey. So if this is older camp students, the camp staff, other staff on campus, just to make sure that we are guiding and supporting you throughout your college experience. All right, and uh, another one of the advantages of being in the CAMP program is that we're gonna help you prepare for life after college, you know, being able to make those uh, partnerships, those connections uh, with other CAMP students and to engage you in different types of opportunities uh, that will, you know, set you up for life after college. And that's one of the things, uh, biggest things that I missed out because I was not a camp student, but I had a lot of friends that joined a camp. And after uh, college, they were very successful. They had plenty of, of connections, people that would vouch for them. And that really helped them. And that's something that I struggled with. So if I could go back and be in camp, I think that would have been a very huge support. Very important. Um, Engagement within your undergraduate time at a university is good and also important for developing those networks. And it helps you develop leadership skills as you serve fellow students or in different leadership capacities during your time as a freshman in camp, but also later in, in your academic career. 
Now we have a couple of uh, frequently asked questions from students uh, out and about when we're doing recruiting. Um, I guess we, I'm going to turn it over to colleagues here to tackle some of the questions right now. So the first one is, are you eligible for camp if you participated in the migrant ed programs or the high school equivalency program? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and answer this question. For our program, yes, if you were a part of the migrant education program in the K through 12 or in the HEP program as well, uh, you would qualify for our camp program at Wenatchee Valley College. And if you're not sure what those terms mean, make sure to reach out to any of the recruiters. We will make sure that we uh, answer those questions for you in more detail. Uh, the next question is, if I'm a DACA student, do I qualify for a camp? For a camp? I could answer this one. So because CAMP is a federally funded program, we unfortunately can't accept DACA students. You do have to be a US citizen or permanent resident. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the second one. The next question, if my parents are undocumented, can I participate in CAMP? That question is yes. Uh, if your parents are undocumented, uh, you can still participate in CAMP. Um, if you still have any additional questions as far as your parents' documentation or anything like that, uh, you can still feel, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we'd be happy to discuss uh, any of your questions. Next question is, how can I apply to the CAMP program? So every institution is a little bit different in how they uh, handle the application process to their CAMP programs at UW. You have to apply to UW by November 15th. And then, um, and then in that time, you will, from, and from then until March, you will know whether you're accepted. And then we have the CAMP application due on March 26th. So the deadline is actually after you know whether you've been admitted to the university or not, which is one of the requirements for our CAMP program. And other institutions handle it a little differently. So I'll pass it on to other colleagues. I could talk about the Columbia Basin College um, CAMP. So we do also, you have to be accepted into the college, but also we have our application online and it is open year round. Um, but it is an uh, application and an interview process. All right, uh, yeah, so at Wenatchee Valley College, uh, first, obviously, you do want to get admitted into the college as well. Um, we accept the applications throughout the whole year, um, but we have our earliest priority deadlines mid-April, uh, but we will continue to accept applications uh, until we can fill out all the uh, 55 spots that we have in our program. And we do require a short essay, um, an interview. Uh, and it's really not an interview like a job interview, but it's more really a conversation to get to know you and for you to get to know us and how uh, the camp program can support you while you're at, at Wenatchee Valley College. And you can apply a line as well. You've heard a little bit about these programs and how you can apply. They all have different application processes. Uh, but we would all be happy to discuss these with you, um, scheduling an appointment with us, email, phone call, text messages. Um, please feel free to reach out to any of us if you have any questions uh, about the CAMP program or just our institution in general. Um, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, I believe the information will be provided here. Um, and uh, thank you again for, for your time. Thank you.